Hello, just 30 minutes to go before we have got ourselves our next match for today. But before that, I just want to quickly have a chat with, uh, with Ben because, of course, this is your first Star Ladder event. Mm -hmm. And I was just curious, how are you finding things? It's excellent. The venue's a lot bigger than I expected it to be. Um, very spacey. We have not as full of a crowd as I would have expected, but everyone's pumped up. And it's interesting to go to a non-American tournament. I haven't been to a non-American tournament in years. Because, I mean, you said the venue is bigger than you expected. Mm -hmm. I think because a lot of people would see it's smaller than expected because all of the photos, most of the photos that you see online of the venue are taken with one of those wide hook lenses. Oh. I, ha I haven't seen any of the photos okay. before, so I didn't know what to expect. Okay. Well, they have removed a lot of computers. There's a lot of space for people to sit. And of course, I mean, you're sitting a bit elevated on a, on a platform. How are things from up here? It's nice. It's nice. Because well. you don't see the audience. We actually, if, you, if, if we look towards the camera, we see the computers because behind us is the mm -hmm. audience. Do you still get the energy of the crowd? Yeah, you can hear them right behind. <laughs> and uh, you can't see like the huge projector screen, but you can definitely, um, yeah, you can definitely hear them and feel them. I have like a couple of guys sitting right next to me too. So, although I have no idea what they're saying. No, it's, uh, it's, it's mostly Russians, I think I have, or Russian-Ukrainian. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've seen any non-Ukrainian visitor yet, or I haven't talked to anybody, any, at least. You? Aside from us. Aside, yeah. Yeah, I, <laughs> I have not either. They, everyone speaks, like, decent English, though. Or not everyone, a lot of people speak decent English. The younger English. ones definitely do. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. They're all super friendly, though. Yes, agreed. Yeah. Uh, very um, friendly with uh, alcohol as well, and talking about that. <laughs> I mean, uh, you've been here since Wednesday afternoon. Sure, yes. Kind of jet lagged, yes. kind of tired probably, mm -hmm. but you still went out. We got to, I mean, it, it'd be a dishonor to Valat. Yeah. So, so. so how did we you have to find pay our things? Respects. It was fun. The drinking age is You said so surprised. <laughs> so much fun. No, well, it was, well, the first place that we went to, I didn't really know what to expect. They served everything in like small mason jars. Okay. And it wasn't shots. What they gave us were just like these random, they it was like alcohol in in a small like mason jar, and they, they didn't even know what they ordered half the time. It was like ten different things. They just passed them around. And you just took whatever. Okay. And then some of them were like rainbow. There were like three layers of stuff. Some of them were sweet. Some of them had like cherries. Some of them had like pickled stuff. It was it was what? unusual. Was it good? It was good. It was a Wednesday night, and the place was pretty packed. I get think for a Wednesday night. In the U.S., if you go to a bar on Wednesday night, it's going to be empty. The same thing in the Netherlands. Yeah, yeah. but th it was pretty busy, so I can only imagine what it would be like on the weekends. And it's very cheap. It's like $2 for a shot. That, yeah. That's you probably even why get everyone gets drunk here. You wouldn't even get a beer for that where I'm from. So. Yeah, that's like enough for tip. Yes, mm -hmm. probably. So you did the same thing yesterday. Yes. But yesterday you had an entire day. Now, of course, you know, first time Ukraine. Mm-hmm. First time Star Ladder. First time Eastern Europe. First time Cyber Arena. <laughs> and what does Merlini do all day? I play Dota a lot. <laughs> yeah. I play Dota. 12 games of Dota, no problem. Yeah. It was, was it 12? It was fun. Uh, I can check. It was around <laughs> there. It was just... On my full page. Where is Merlini? He do was... I played a full page of games. Oh, oh. except for one. It's okay. about 12. Okay, so... Because you always... Also, or not always. You had a lot of problems with your baggage. Oh, yeah. That was terrible. We... We like specifically were like, okay, we're going to do carry on bags because we've heard really bad things about them losing luggage. So we get yep. to the plane. We were a little bit late and then they had to put it under the plane because the carry on was full, even though the plane was like half full. Par people were shopping in Paris and bought all the stuff and they didn't want them under seats, whatever. And then they, we, we got to Ukraine and all our bags were lost. So we finally got it after about like 36 hours, 30 hours maybe. So yeah, that was yesterday nice. late evening. Yeah, so yeah. we were wearing the same clothes and being nasty. Couldn't really help it, though. But Vlad's wife was really nice and took us out to go like buy new underwear and stuff. Oh, that's nice. She she was very active yesterday as well. Did she? Yeah, she was like sh everyone's chauffeur. Or yes. Like, if you need something, you ask her and, and she'll be able to get it for you. Mm -hmm. So uh, you have a hotel. How's things there? You're staying at the same hotel? Yeah. You can I talk to. You don't have to ask me. Well, I, I was just curious. It's a good hotel. And there is like different lights for the bathroom. You can have, or for <laughs> the, you, you can have purple lights or blue lights or red or green and yellow. It's all there. Like yeah. that was, that was my most exciting thing about the hotel room, the lights. It was also a little bit warm. I didn't, I didn't know yes. how to, how to change the thermostat. I like put it down to 19 and then it was like at 26 or something when I woke up. Ouch. Yeah. I was like, I, 
I didn't I didn't hear the heater or anything. And it's supposed to be cold here. It's like it's like around freezing outside. For my hotel, I mean it, it's it's perfect. The my hotel room, however, the the thing that goes before the window, it's not a curtain, but it can't go shut. Oh, so it's an electronic one though. Oh really? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. You have to go like above the bed. There's like a little screen thing. Oh, oh yeah. I know the screen thing. Okay, okay. so I now know okay. how Good to thing make you sure. Asked. <laughs> well, let's just say it was broken. It was broken. Guys. It was broken. <laughs> it was broken. I tried to put it down, but it didn't work. Have you how have you been enjoying your stay? I the have. Food and the drinks and the people. I have to say, I'm very impressed by the pizzas here. Like, this is really good, and everything is super cheap. You haven't had the ones with seafood yet, though. No, but I'm not really that fun much of a fan of seafood I'm overall. not either I think it's weird on pizza yeah it's just but weird overall but you're a hater you live right next to the sea oh yeah I do like I, I, I like fish sometimes I do but like no, not, not shell food or sushi oh or I love sushi I eat sushi all the time I never actually had it so I can't I guess I can't say it, but it's I didn't like it either it looks gross and it sounds gross but it's really good no 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 actually I like the way it looks oh really I really do it's just it's uh, just rice with fish though and it's like it's it's ta doesn't taste as well as it looks oh. that's my problem with sushi but but back towards star ladder because of course uh, we're gonna have the game soon mm -hmm. we already had one earlier today what do you think of a uh, fanatic versus alliance fanatic was a little bit underwhelming um i expected i expected closer games i guess they were like a little bit close at the start but after like 15 minutes the outcome was pretty easy to yeah. determine and do you think that was draft or play? Mm, I think first game was play. Second game was like 65% play, 35% draft. Fnatic is usually pretty good against Alliance, though. So I don't know. A lot of the times in between these, these T1 teams, it's like they're not close games. They're, the teams are closely matched, but they aren't close games, which is really strange. Yeah. It's a... Uh yeah, I, I, I agree. Because what I heard from Notil yesterday is that he feels that if a team wins the first game, and especially with these teams, and maybe especially on a land setting because of the mindset mm -hmm. you have, if you win the first game, you're going to win the second one too. Yeah, a lot of like other tournaments have been experimenting with longer formats. There was the yeah. BO7 for WPCAs. There was the BO5 in Dream League. But yeah. they w like the Dream League was all three zeros. Yeah, it was. Uh, but the BO7 went with The BO7. That's I a mean, long time, though. I mean, I didn't expect it to go to seven. But no. that's, that's that's a lot of Dota for professional players yeah, to go out it once. is. And, and what I, like, I asked Puppy about it earlier. Because what I find, if, you know, you play for a very long time, you have to stay focused every single game because there's a lot at stake. Mm-hmm. How do you do that with food? You can't eat because you can't have a you can't game on a full stomach because then you're not like you have to ha constantly have that perfect level of yeah. saturation. Gamers are used to it. We were talking about the gamer diet where you just don't eat. So yeah, but like you can't tell me that all the twelve games, the ones at the end, didn't feel a bit more shaky than the ones at the start. Yeah, that's I mean that's some part to do with the scheduling though. Yeah, right. I guess so so yeah, in the best of seven, you can have a break in between mm -hmm. for an hour maybe. Yeah. Perhaps. But you were going to see soon, uh, of course, Sigma versus Navi. What's your expectation? I, I'd say that they shouldn't be as close as the last game. Yeah. Which Navi, they were not that great versus Sigma, like around the time of MLG. But after that, Sigma just like lost every single best of one against Navi, which is a little bit unfortunate. But they did win the best of five. Strangely, that's so. true. That for the D2CL, right? Yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. You're right. But that was a very long time ago. That was a very long time. Yeah. That was, however, after MLG already, because mm -hmm. uh, that's the tournament, of course. That's the last, um, like next to Dreamac. That's the last land where Sigma really did well. Right, and uh, they beat uh, out they, Navi they in the best They weren't actually at Dreamac. Never mind. Um, right? No, they were not. No. Um, but uh, yeah, they they beat Navi there, mm -hmm. and they they were. Basically, the underdog that was just doing amazingly well. They are the underdog this tournament as They're well. They're always underdogs. Yeah. But is but th that time at MLG, it worked in their favor, and they th they believe so as well. Mm -hmm. Do you think that this time it will be the same? I I think it would be if they show some results now and then, but it's been it's been a long time. But Burn. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not that they're doing bad. They're just not getting, like, second or first, and they're not, like, yeah. upsetting huge favorites. True. The, I mean, they're beating, like, the medium tier teams they won the pro-am they beat out rocks kiss empire and fanatic yeah which is which is pretty good right but fanatic was playing with two stand-ins different ones than at uh, mm -hmm. at the d2l of course right um but at the same time navi didn't actually make it to the finals of d2l or d2cl 
So, like, even though Sigma has been losing in some of the tournaments, they they actually, you know, they get to the finals sometimes. Navi sometimes doesn't make it to the finals either. And I think this is one of the first land tournaments that I think Navi is one of the teams that put most effort into preparing in terms mm -hmm. of boot camping. Three days. Three days. Three yes. days. Do you think then that's then he said they played twelve games. That's oh that, damn! You revealed my source. I wasn't revealing my source. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I won't reveal my source. <laughs> yeah. But is it uh, that you think that's going to be something that's working uh, for them, or is it? Mm. Do you, don't you think? Like personally, I don't think it makes that big of a difference because on land, the the way that I feel Navi is strong is that they grow. The Stronger. Depending on <laughs> yeah, the, depending on their opponents, like they they just feel what they do and uh, they just grow with the tournament, so to speak. That's true. It is a three day event, so if they get past day one and day two, they'll probably do really well on day three. But um, I mean. 12 games in a boot camp? That's like almost nothing. They did play a lot of pubs. That's true. Are you going to reveal your source? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Uh, I mean, when I think of boot camp, I think like, you know, like nine hours a day, every day for like at least a week. And, and analyzing replays. Yeah. And checking out your opponent, what they do. Right. And having like, you know, set strategies versus your team. Because you only have three teams to play against. Yeah. And you're, you're not going to be taken by surprise. So yeah. I wouldn't even call it a boot camp. I would call it like training session yeah. maybe boot camp i think it was like more hardcore than that so well we are gonna see it it's uh, it's gonna happen who do you think's gonna win i think navi's gonna win okay how, how do you think it's more or less lopsided than three to one i hope it's gonna be three to one uh i checked the odds d2l uh, like go to two lounge 70 and 30 70 30 yeah. on all sites and mm -hmm. it's just not looking all too hot but i i think it's gonna be better than 70 30 i think it's more 60 40 or 60 or 55 i hope so 45 55 yeah. 45 is being generous oh look there's the bets yeah yeah it's it's very it's very one-sided but i think it's not going to be as one-sided as, as that mm -hmm. i hope it won't be sigma they, yeah they they beat Fnatic, and Fnatic yeah. is not a bad team by any means. I think it's going to also depend on the draft. If, yeah. if Matt is confident in his draft, and because if they have a plan, they normally are able to execute it the way they want it to, and then they're going to be very strong. Do you think they've been too predictable in their draft? And do you think they have a wide variety of well, strats? Well, I, I, I kind of think they were kind of too predictable, but then Puppy said no, they've lately been trying out new things. Mm -hmm. So uh, I just hope, because they have only played 65 games in a new patch, I hope that's not going to work against them, that they didn't have enough practice for official games for maybe new things that they wanted to try but never got a chance to because there's not enough officials. That's true. But them playing less games is also good for them because people don't know that much about them. Yes, that's very true. But, I mean, Navi also boot camp, so we don't know too much about them either. We haven't seen... Mm -hmm. I haven't seen Navi play in a while. Navi hasn't played officials apart from Star Ladder group stage matches and yeah. then Dream League. And there, a lot of their weaker teams were in the latter half of the group stage. Yes. So it was just like, I mean, you can't really tell anything when it's just a tier two nope. team sometimes. But they got beaten by Power Rangers. I know. <laughs> Are you a Power Rangers fan? I, who is not a Power Rangers <laughs> fan? Seriously. Everybody is a Power Rangers fan. They need fan. to they change sure their logo. It's just the PR. It looks like a prescription. They just have to have symbol. those people like the Power Rangers. The Power Rangers. Yes, they have a theme song. I mean, wh how many teams can say that they have a theme song? They should dress up on land. Yes! They should. They should. <laughs> that would be awesome. Way better than jerseys. Yes. Well, 15 minutes-ish, 20-ish minutes until the game is going to start. So we're going to wrap it up here. And, uh, of course, LD will be back with Merlini in about 20 minutes for the next game, for the game that will decide uh, which team will join uh, Fnatic and which team will join Alliance. So stick around. We'll be back. <laughs>